Got those on? Your life. Well, good evening and uh, welcome to the quiz. I'll just share the first screen. Okay, can everybody see the first screen okay? Yeah? Just nod, I can't hear you. All right. Okay, then. All right, I've got to find the screen now. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the first rounds are in general knowledge. Don't forget to send your answers to the answer man. Here we go. Number one, what's a more common name for a polygraph? Number two, James Gordon is the commissioner of which fictional US city? Three, well, there's two fours there. Well, it'll be a three. In which Indian city is Bollywood based? Four, which well known children's TV character's name is Pat Clifton? And five, which Lord lost all 40 elections that he stood for? And we'll just start the timer. And as usual, what we'll do with the scores is you'll see your scores after round three, five, seven, and nine.
Ok, quand il est... The Quiz Inquisitor. Ok, that's your four minutes up. You should be sending your answers in to Derek now, please. How are we doing, answer man? Everybody in yet? We're just so now, Dave. All right, okay. Okay, a polygraph is a lie detector. James Gordon uh, is a commissioner of Gotham City. Bollywood's in Mumbai or Mumbai, I'll accept Mumbai or Mumbai. Pat Clifton's postman Pat and Lord Such was the Lord who lost all 40 elections. Okay, I'm sure you all did well there. It wasn't too tricky. Move on to the next round. And this is called Colors. And here we are. Number one, what color are Bart Simpson's shorts? Two, what color is the flag used to stop a Formula One race? Three, what color were the spots on Mr. Blobby? Four, what was first issued in Britain on the 1st of May, 1840. And five, DeWalt power tools are noted for which two color combinations? And the timer's running.
Right, two minutes to go. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, you should be sending in your answers now to Derek, please. Okay, John. Okay, that's everybody in. Okay, Bart Simpson shorts are blue. The flag used to stop a Formula One red is red. The colour of Mr. Blobby's spots are yellow. First issues on the 1st of May, 1840, was the penny black stamps and DeWalt power tools are yellow and black. Hopefully you've got that. The next round is called Quizlink. Uh, as usual, let me just get that on the screen for you. Okay, the answer to the questions, one through four are somehow connected. Can you find the connection? Answer all five questions. If you can. So you might get some of the questions right, but still get the uh, connection. Or you might get all the answers right and not get the connection. Anyway, here we go. Which word can mean an uncertain period of awaiting a decision or resolution, deriving from the belief that an unbaptized soul cannot get into heaven? Two, which type of owl's scientific name is Taito Alma? 
three, a plane figure with four equal straight sides and four right angles. Four, in Native American culture, what name is given to the monumental sculptures carved with symbols or sacred animals? Quite straightforward that. And the time is running. A minute to go on that, minute to go. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, you should be sending your answers in to Derek now, please.
That says me smiling, Noel. Believe it or not. I'm only drinking coffee tonight. Better than table three. That's right in table three. Who's table three? Okay, that's us. That us? Okay, okay. Right, moving on. <coughs> so number one was Limbo, two was Barnell, three was Square, and four was Totem Pole. So you had Limbo, Barn, Square, and Pole, and about all dances. So I'm going to stop sharing that, and uh, I made Derek a co-host, so he'll be able to put up your scores, as that's the end of round three. I'll take a wee note of the scores as well when it's up there, Derek. Uh, 14, 15, 11, 11. Hmm. Okay, it's all very close. All very close. And it gives you a chance to see what's coming up here on the topics. So you get fictional detectives, weather, pointless, food and drink, a little bit more weather, assistance, please, and then the Jeopardy rounds. Okay, I hope you've got all a note of your scores. And then we'll uh, get back to screen sharing here. Okay. Okay, your round four is on fictional detectives. And uh, here we go. Number one, which TV detective's first name was Endeavour? Number two, in which series would we have met Gil Grissom? Three, which cop drama, a spin-off from Holby City, was axed just after two series? Four, what's the name of Sherlock Holmes' brother? And five, which author created The Saint? And uh, that should be the timer running now. Hopefully. There we go. And we're off. Time for another coffee. Yep.
And we are back. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, that's your time up. Make sure you get your answers into the answer man, please. Okay, everyone. Everybody in? Okay, then. And if we're all ready, here we go. Okay, it was Endeavour Morse. Go Grissom is in CSI. The spin off from Holby City was Holby Blue. Sherlock Holmes Brothers, Mycroft. And uh, the saint was Leslie Charteris. I hope we've all done well there. So it's number four done. Yeah, we're doing all right for time. Okay, the next round. I'll give you a bit of extra time on this one. Since it's the picture round, to give you a chance to chat with each other. Okay, the picture quiz is all weather related. When you see the pictures, there'll be a type of weather. All you have to do is work out what the weather is. And uh, send the answers to the answer man. Uh, I'm going to give you 10 minutes on this. That's plenty of time for you to have a right good chat. And if we're ready, here we go.
Okay, that's the time we're running, but uh, if you get all the answers in before that runs out, then we'll move on.
Okay, that's just a minute now to get your answers in, please. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, that's your time up. You should be getting your answers in now to the answer man, please. Yeah, that's me got them all. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. And the answer's there. Was a Hawker Typhoon. Uh, I know some of you might have put down <coughs> Hurricane, but the Hurricane didn't have rocket launchers. And you've got Troy Tempest, Snow Patrol, Claude Rains, Hail and Pace, Zippy from Rainbow, Black Lightning, have accepted Tornado or Twister for the film, Little Miss Sunshine, and good old Foghorn Leghorn. Okay, I'll stop the share and we'll put up the halftime scores. I'll get a wee note of them too. All right, table six out in the lead. And we've got table six, that's Dave and company. Many of you got tonight, Dave, usual 10, 12 tonight. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay. So it's not going to be Dave and the easy beats tonight then, it's Dave and catch me up if you can, or catch me if you can. Right, here we go. Okay, and the next round is pointless. So what you have to do is find the most obscure answer. You'll get two points for the top answer 
and one point for the second top answer. And uh, please only send in one answer. Number one, looking for a species of whale. Two, uh, countries with a J for James in their name. Three, the highest mountains in the UK. Four, European countries with a monarch. And five, any venue hosting the 2012 Olympic Games aside from the main Olympic Stadium. As you see at the top of the page, two points for the top answer, one point for the second top answer. Please only send in one answer and make them as obscure as possible. And the timer is running. Jim, can I just ask? Is, yes. it the most, is it the most obscure we're looking for or the most common? No, you're looking for the most obscure. The most obscure. Okay, thanks. No problem. Yeah. Hi Jim, it's Brian yeah. here. Sorry Jim, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What's your question? Scotland, it was Barry, Barry Button, whatever it was, Barry. I can hear you, I can hear you talking now. Hi Jim, could you explain this round? Not quite sure what we're trying to answer. You're finding the most obscure answer, the, the, the one that the people have got the least idea of. You're not looking for the most uh, answered question. You're looking for the least answered question. Okay, thank you. No problem. Okay, can, you, can you mute yourself now? Thank you. Well, I wasn't sure if everybody had seen the program or not, but uh, if you're looking for the most obscure answer, the one that the least amount of people would have got right out of 100 people who were asked that question.
The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, that round was a little bit more trickier than the usual rounds. But uh, get your answers in as soon as you can to the answer man, please. Okay, teams, how are we doing on those answers? Okay, that wasn't an easy round. So uh, here are the answers I have. Uh, a whale, two points for bowhead, one point for pilot. Countries with a J in their name, two points for Djibouti and one point for Azerbaijan. The highest mountains in the UK, the two points were Slave Donard, which is the highest mountain in Northern Ireland and one point for Scaffell Pike. European countries with a monarch, two points for Liechtenstein, one point for Andorra, and any venue at the Olympics, two points for Eton Dornay. I'm not too sure, I think that was where the shooting or the archery was, and one point for Hamden Park. So I am going to drop down, and uh, you'll pick up, and that's not the scores yet, is it? No, that's just round six. Next round, we'll see the scores at the next round. Uh, I'm sure that was a tricky one for everyone. It wouldn't be a quiz without a bit of trickiness. So we're moving on now to round seven. And that will be food and drink. So if we're all ready for food and drink, here we go. What is the name of this? Small field used for rice cultivation. Two, what kind of food is a monster? to? Three, which company owns the companies that produce Fanta and Sprite? Four, in Japan, what is the name of the expensive beef obtained from Wagyu cattle? And five, which British tea institution stroke company is the oldest established in 1706? And the timer is running. Good luck to all.
Okay, and that's your one minute warning. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, that's your four minutes up. Make sure you get your answers in to the answer man, please. Does? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, the small field for rice is a paddy field. A mulch two is a sugar snap pea. Fanta and Sprite are run by Coca Cola. Wagyu cattle is Kobe beef. And the oldest tea company in Britain is Twinings. Okay, that's us at round seven now. Well, that's the answer man to uh, put up scores. I'll give you a shout, Derek, to take it off. I'm just making a note of the scores. Okay, it looks like uh, table six are in a bit of a lead just now, but got the old Jeopardy round to come. You never know what happens there. Okay, I've got all the scores now. Thank you. Right, moving on to round eight. At some point. And it's more weather. So you know the score. Same as the last time. Shouldn't be a problem. And uh, here we go. I'll give you an extra few minutes on this one. And here are the questions. Right, I'll leave you to it for a couple of minutes. I think I've had enough coffee. Hi Jim, sorry our, our laptop ran out of charge. Um, what were we meant to do in this one?
Kide. Derek, Derek, what no. were we meant to do? Hi, what were we meant to do for this round? Sorry, our, our laptop ran out of charge there. I had to uh, shut down. <laughs> uh, it's the same as the last round, so this is all weather, more weather related answers. All right, all right, thank you. Okay, I've set the timer, but if we get in the answers before then, then we'll move on.
Okay, that'll be your one minute warning. Get your answers into the answer map. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, you should be sending your answers in to the answer man now, please. Right, okay, here we go. Okay, number one was a breeze block, two was Jack Frost, three was a perfect storm, four was vanilla ice, five was McLeod, six is Phil Cool, seven was a lemon drizzle cake, eight was Windy Miller, nine was Willow Flood. And Tim is Misty from Pokemon. Okay, I'll see your scores after the next round. So we're moving on now to round number nine. And this is called Assistant Required. And uh, here we go. Number one, who was the cowardly assistant of Danger Mouse? Two, who did investigative journalist Maddie Magdalene assist? Three, what's the name of Mr. Burns assistant in The Simpsons? Or what is Inspector Morrison's assistant Lewis's first name? And five, who is Dr. Bunsen Honeydew's accident prone Muppet Show assistant? And we'll just get the timer going right now.
Okay, that's your one minute warning in. The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, that's your four minutes up. Get your answers in to the answer man, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, the assistant danger miss was Penfold. Maddie assisted Jonathan Creek. Mr. Burns' assistant is Smithers. Lewis's first name is Robbie. And Dr. Bunsen Honeydew's assistant is Beaker. So that's round nine. You need to take a really good, take a good note of your scores so you know what you're doing in the Jeopardy round. I'll take a wee note on them as well. Okay, it looks like uh, table six is still in the lead. Table two is second and table five in third place. But that all could change in the next round. Okay, we're going to move on to the Jeopardy round. Hopefully. Okay, the Jeopardy round, as you know, comes in five parts. It's three points for a correct answer, minus three for an incorrect answer, no answer, no penalty. And tonight's Jeopardy round is called Sleepyhead. I'll read the questions out, one to five, 
Then I'll read them out again, one to five. Then I'll start the timer. And here we go. Number one, what is the name of the Greco-Roman god of sleep? Two, what did Madeline Monroe say was the only thing she wore in bed? Three, who were the first television cartoon couple to sleep in a double bed? Four, what sleeping condition is described as a failure of the respiratory center to stimulate adequate respiration during sleep? And five, which five letter word of Far East origin translate into English as round bed? One, what's the name of the Greco-Roman god of sleep? Two, what did Marilyn Monroe say was the only thing she wore in bed? Three, who were the first television cartoon couple to sleep in a double bed? Four, what sleeping condition is described as failure of the respiratory center to stimulate adequate respiration during sleep? And number five, which five letter word of far East origin translates into English as round bed. And the timer is running. Don't forget, three points for a correct answer, maybe three for a wrong answer, no answer, no penalty. So there's a possible 15 points available for this round.
The Quiz Inquisitor. Okay, you should be getting your answers into the answer man now, please. And then we'll find out who has won. How are we doing? Who are we waiting for? Table six. So maybe just call it there and make it interesting. <laughs> ah, we better not. We don't want glum faces at the end of the night. Right, this table six to come in. Chop, chop. That's them out. Right. Okie dokie, here we go with the answers. And that's six months without showing the answers before anybody else. Here we go. The name of the Greco Roman god is Hypnos. I know some of you might have put Morpheus, but he was a god of dreams. Well, in Moreau, just watched an L number five. The first cartoon couple, uh, I, don't, I don't think it was Ben and Ernie, it was Fred and Wilma Flintstone, the sleep condition is sleep apnea, and the round bed is a futon. So I'm going to drop this, and we can see the final scores. I have a feeling that it could be a certain team. You want a drum roll? I can do a drum roll. You were wrong. I was wrong. Jiminy Crickets. Fifteen. Did somebody get all five questions right? Did you Absolutely spot on. See, I told you the Jeopardy round would change things around. So, table five. Who has table five? Let me have a quick look here. Don't, don't take that away just now. Hey, Brady, five. who doesn't know that he's won? Where's table five? Is it the Cromers? The day they took no, it's it. Dave Brady. Sorry? Dave Brady, I think. Who's table five? Four. One, two. Oh, I haven't seen. Is it the Cromers? No. No. Well, who is table five then? Dave Brady. No, he's table six. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, I've missed him. Curly. I've missed him, where is he? Has he dropped off somewhere? Yes. Oh, he's disappeared. Uh, he's lost the internet. Oh, <laughs> he lost the internet after the hand of the answers then? Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, Never use Google. Well, we'll try and get him back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a really good result for that. Well done to them. Right, okay, you can drop that down and I'll... Move on one page, then I'll uh, I'll stop the I'll stop the YouTube, and we can all come in. You know the first time he's won it in the last round. Well, I don't want to say too much. Here he is coming back in again. There is he. Put your hands to put your hands together for David. Well done there. Fifteen points in the last round. Eight. We had to take some risks there, Jim. You've always got to take a risk in the last round there. You sneaked in. 
And then, and then I lost lost internet connection, and it was all hell mm. let loose in this, in this room. Well, you beat the Barmy Army anyway. <laughs> Well, 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 cheers, cheers. Yeah, I'm a drink. It was your partner that did all the dances anyway. Great finish, David. Thank you. Yeah.